Welcome into the Thunder Basketball Universe. We are coming to you right now from Paycom Center on the event level, one of our lovely rooms down here. And you might notice a new face joining us today. That's because today we are welcoming in the newest face of this Thunder roster, Isaiah Hardenstein. That's Isaiah, so welcome to Oklahoma City. Thank you, thank you. Excited. I gotta know just what this last week, 10 days has been like for you and your family choosing to come to Oklahoma City and now being yeah. here today. It's been exciting. I mean, it's been exciting. I think um, just coming into an organization like this, I've kind of always watched from afar and kind of always appreciate the culture that they always had. So um, exciting. I mean, exciting to play with these young guys, excited to kind of keep expanding my game. And I think, um, with this team, I'll be able to kind of do that more. So excited about that. Yeah, I mean, just talking about your game, I think the things that obviously stand out are, are the physicality, the presence yeah. in the interior around the rim, but then also just the passing and the playmaking yeah. on the other side of the ball. As you think about that aspect of your game, you know, on both ends, how does that fit with this group? Um, I mean, that was one of the biggest things coming in, kind of looking at the team. Um, to me, I think I'm one of the the best passing bigs in the NBA. So um, having guys that cut, having guys that are high IQ players um, was something really exciting to me. Um, talking talking to Mark, kind of how he gives guys more freedom, yeah. gives guys confidence. Um, really exciting. I mean, I think I can do a lot, a lot more. Um, kind of really expand my game in that aspect. Um, so that's something I'm really excited about to come here and kind of show more, more what I've kind of got. You had mentioned the culture that you witnessed kind of from the outside looking in, now being here yeah. for a little bit. What yeah. are your kind of initial impressions? Does it meet your yeah. expectations? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> above that. I mean, it was amazing. I mean, I feel like just how um, family oriented everything is. Um, I mean, you come here, you're welcome with open arms. Yeah. Um, I mean, I have my family, um, my family out here, um, and they've treated them like they've been family for like years. So it's, it's been really exciting. I mean, it's really exciting for my family and um, I'm just super excited. Yeah, I was reading about maybe, the, you know, the relationship that you and your dad have, you yeah. know, he was a former player. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about how you guys are still kind of bonded and connected and, and what this is like for him as well to kind of experience you um, getting this, this new opportunity. Um, it's been great. I mean, he's been there kind of, especially a little closer when he stopped playing. I mean, um, he started being my coach uh, full time when I stopped playing. Um, and then now being in the situations um, where I keep improving and keep um, making my stamp in the NBA and then getting an opportunity like this to come play for OKC, it's always special. I mean, he's been my whole family. He's been there my whole um, whenever I needed them. And so a lot of props to them too so i heard that he uh he drives you to the games is that, yeah, is he that does. Can still be a thing <laughs> yeah. here in okc i mean it's not an hour drive like <laughs> yeah, in new york that's but true. That's um, true. no but yeah i mean he does a lot i mean he, he's my my chef he drives me and then in the summer he can still move a little bit so he's kind of my punching bag in the summer it might only last for like five more years but um until then i'm, I'm a use it as much as I can. That's amazing. Just kind of staying on that that theme of your backstory a little bit. A lot of people might not know you're born in Eugene, Oregon, yeah. but grew up in, in Germany, yeah. played professionally before you came to the United States. Just how much has that part of your story helped you here in the NBA? Uh, helped a lot. I mean, I think um, just growing up and playing in different situations. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I played my first professional game when I was 15 in Germany. Wow. Um, moved to Lithuania by myself when I was 17, um, got drafted by the Rockets, moved around a little bit, but I think at the end of the day, um, going through all those things, mm -hmm. I think just made me stronger as a, a person, uh, mentally, not physically. So I wouldn't change anything. I mean, at the time you're always like, why is it happening to me? Yeah. But, um, at the end of the day, it, it worked out. It just made me a better uh, player and a better human being. I remember seeing you at G League games, you know, covering the OKC Blue when, when you all play against them. Yeah, I used to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, you know, you know and, and you probably, you know, went up against Mark Dignall, your, your new yeah. head coach, yeah, a number yeah. of times. Yeah. And, and you think about him, you know, having earned his way to, to a head coaching yeah. job and winning coach of the year. Yeah. You think about a guy like Lou Dort and yeah. Aaron Wiggins, who is on a two-way deal. I mean, there are guys throughout this Thunder organization mm -hmm. who have maybe shared a similar journey to you. Mm -hmm. does, does that mean something to you to know that you're 
kind of going to war with guys who have, have earned those stripes the way that you have. Yeah, it means a lot. I mean, even um, Caruso is kind of yeah. mm-hmm. the same same path. So a lot of guys, I mean, what do you, what do you guys say, like dogs? Yeah, that's right. Like, uh, <laughs> You're going to have to learn to bark a little bit. I don't, don't be barking that much. I'm more of like a screamer, so I, <laughs> I might try to squeeze it in every there now and then. Um, but, um, yeah, just having guys, that's, I mean, that was the main thing looking in. I mean, I feel like. Mm-hmm. There's like a lot of guys that took the game serious. Um, I know they have fun off the court like you should, but when the game starts, you can always see how professional they are, how dedicated they are mm-hmm. to their craft. So that's something really exciting. So Another kind of interesting parallel for you, coming from New York, playing mm-hmm. for a coach like Tom Thibodeau, who mm-hmm. we know is a very defensive-minded yeah. coach. You're coming to, an, to a team who's yeah. one of the better defensive teams in the yeah. NBA. How exciting is that for you? Do you, yeah. do you feel like you'll you'll integrate to that pretty well? Yeah, that's really exciting. I mean, I feel like that was one of the main main reasons why I wanted to come here. I mean, mm-hmm. I saw that I could help the team. I saw they were already at a good yeah. um, good stance already. Um, I didn't really want to go to a team where where I couldn't win or couldn't mm-hmm. compete. Mm-hmm. So um, just having another opportunity to win, and then also expand what I already do on defense, but then also I can expand more on my offensive game because how um, yeah. open-minded Mark is. So yeah. um, that's something really exciting. I think we have a lot of great defenders on the team. Mm-hmm. Um, put a lot of different lineups. Um, I mean, I'm going to be excited for me and Chet to be on the court together. I yeah. think that's going to that's gonna be hard for a lot of teams, especially defensively. So, um, yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, I mean, a lot of creativity and willingness yeah. to try things here, yeah. which – um, can often yield results that are unexpected. You know, so yeah. it's, it's a very exciting thing for players to embark on. You were just talking about the seriousness, and obviously, you're coming from a very serious yeah. program. This is an extremely serious program, yeah. and, and you're a serious player. It, it seems like just watching you, you know, you'll you'll leave a game and you've got scratches oh, yeah. all over your arms, you've oh, yeah. got punched in the head a couple of times, whatever. But during the yeah. game, it seems like you don't notice any of that. Yeah. Is that something that you've earned over the course of your career, or yeah. is that like? When you were 12, you were the exact same way. Um, so, I mean, I think it got from my dad. So my dad, when he was playing, he was more just a super physical guy. Mm-hmm. So I think he had a year where he, he like dislocated five guys' shoulder just off a screen. <laughs> just off a screen. So, I mean, he, he always was very rough with me in practice. Man. And then we played together for one year. So that wasn't fun at practice either. So, um, <laughs> You played together with wow. your dad yeah. professionally? Yeah, what was that like? like? Whoa. Yeah, the, the lighter version of Braun. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it was great. I mean, I feel like just having him around um, all the time kind of – I mean, I always always had a luxury to watch. Um, I was always around the locker rooms. But now really to see how the process was yeah. um, was fun. And then just – I mean, not a lot of people can say they played with their dad professionally. Yeah, seriously. So, amazing. So that was fun. But, yeah. You had mentioned um, wanting to continue to expand your game mm-hmm. going into your seventh year now. Mm-hmm. What's been the focus for you kind of this off season? Yeah. things that you're working on trying yeah. to add to your game? Um, I mean, the ma- main thing is always availability. I mean, I feel mm-hmm. like that's one of my – always been kind of my strengths these last couple of years. I mean, you can have a perfect game, but if you only play 20 games, it doesn't mean much. So, I mean, that's always the main thing. My approach to every summer is to make sure my body's always – fully healthy and then um, just getting back to shooting. I mean, I feel mm-hmm. like um, if you're an NBA player, you always have to adapt to certain roles. So, um, yeah. I mean, that was going into New York, that was not what they kind of needed at that point. Um, even probably till last year, my passing wasn't really shown as much as it was with the yeah. Clippers. So, um, I think you just have to adapt. And I think that's if you're a professional, you do that. And so that's why I did. Um, so the shooting, probably continuing to work on my passing, continuing to work and kind of on the, the handoff, keep yeah. stuff, just just kind of how they play uh, more um, free, if, as yeah. it is. So it's I mean, that was also a thing I'm excited about, just to kind of get back to back to those things. Yeah, that five out style and yeah. the, the orchestration mm-hmm. from the top of the key. I mean that yeah. the the relationship that you've shown that you can develop with guards yeah. over the course of your time and to see a roster with, you know, not just Shea and, and yeah. J Dub, but yeah. I mean Alex Caruso and, and a young guy in Casey Wallace, how yeah. excited are you to be able to kind of start fostering and developing and you know, 
helping some of these young guys along too in, yeah. in their in their careers in terms of putting them in good positions to succeed. Uh, super exciting. I mean, um, kind of looking back at what we talked about at the time, you don't get why you're in so many different situations. Yeah. But um, looking back, I learned so much from everybody. I mean, you had James, James Harden mm -hmm. I played with, who was also here, CP, Russ, um, PG, Jokic. So I, yeah. I just try to be a sponge wherever I'm at. And yeah. I kind of know how to get guys open, know how to try to make guys' life easier. And that's mm -hmm. kind of the reason why I have such a big impact on winning because you know, it doesn't really matter if yeah. I'm scoring yeah. 50 or if I'm scoring zero to me. Winning is the biggest thing, just making guys' life easier. Last thing for you before we let you go. I mean, you're new to Oklahoma City. What's been your impression of the, the city so far? Have you gotten yeah. any recommendations, places you want to try yeah. to go check out before uh, you? I went to the hotel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good start. Good start. <laughs> no, I mean, I went to the hotel, the, the facility. Um, I mean, you're at the arena now, so mm -hmm. it's it's been nice. I mean, it's very 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 modern um yeah i didn't know it was that modern on y'all side <laughs> the, the visitor side yeah. isn't, isn't that yeah. as nice as, as over here so um no but it's the the way they have everything structured especially from a basketball aspect yeah. is um i mean i've been on a couple a lot of teams now it's top of the notch and that that's one thing i didn't really know before coming into how the facilities kind of are that was cool you've played in this arena as a visitor obviously yeah. How excited are you to have that loud city yeah. Paycom Center crowd yeah. on your side? <laughs> no, I'm super excited. I mean, that was also a big factor too. Just coming into a situation, knowing how the city is yeah. behind the team, yeah. and you see kind of um, the when you guys when you land and how the fans are like yeah. behind the fence. Mm -hmm. So I think even just looking at little stuff like that, yeah. I mean, to us players, it means a lot. I mean, having those those fans support you like that and so kind of seeing that from afar was always always kind of cool seeing so yeah yeah get ready for a top-notch welcome the yeah. first time you <laughs> that's you right play in front of these crowds yeah in this building i'm too. excited it's gonna be something special. it'll be super loud but super Isaiah, super welcome to oklahoma city thanks so much for taking some time to talk well, to us today guys. appreciate it appreciate all right that wraps up today's episode thank you so much for watching and listening be sure to like rate and subscribe wherever you get your podcast thank you so much to our producer Matt Bishop, and until next time, thunder up and catch you later.